Hello, welcome. This is Kenshin1913, and this is my 2,000 subscriber special. I'm starting a new Let's Play. As you can tell, the main three are in it. And it is Let's Play Dragon Quest 1 and 2 with the Super Famicom, the remakes of the original Dragon Warrior 1 and 2 for the Super Famicom, as I just said. Based on the Dragon Quest V engine! Yay! So let us begin Dragon Quest One. Now I will be playing both of them. One at a time, obviously. I'm going to take a little break in between them. So it will be pretty nice. So, let us start Dragon Quest One. <laughs> Yes, this is the remake, or the reprise version. There we go. Enix presents Dragon Quest! Yeah! Woohoo! Yay! So yes, this is the Let's Play, the original Let's Play that started it all. Started my career as a Let's Player. I think that was just put in there, that dragon. Now that I keep looking at it, it looks like they, the hackers just threw that in there. So let's continue, or actually begin a new adventure on... Let's delete one. I'm about to erase poop. And let's begin a new adventure. Now in this game, depending on what you name your character, a, uh, d you know, makes their stats g grow in one way or another. So, the original game, I called myself Kenshin. And for this game, I'm gonna do something a little odd. I'm gonna name my character something odd in order to see how the stats are for this one. So, we're gonna name our character Zisu. That's right. If you know the reference, put it in the video description. So let us begin. What message speed will go? We'll go three. If I need to, I can change it. So yeah, let's start off with Zisu, our hero. Wait a minute, this isn't the game I signed up for. Yes, this is actually a cool little cutscene that was added to the Game Boy Color version that I wanted to show. Oh no! They're gonna take the princess! And they're flying off, yes. This kind of adds a little bit of story to the game. Yeah, it adds a little bit of story to the game, and, uh... Yeah, it's kind of nice, I guess. Um, you know. So... We are Sisu, the descendant of the legendary Eirdrick, and we've been waiting forever. And he was given the ball of light by God, and then, yeah, they stole the ball of light as in the opening, and they sealed away all the bad things. Brave Sisu, please defeat the Dragon Lord. Okay, we can open up the contents of the treasure. Yay! Be off, brave Zisu. So, here I am, the brave warrior Zisu. So, let's look at our... Damn it, I want to look at my... There we go. Okay. So, we have the talk command, the spell command, which we don't have any spells. Our status, where we can equip our weapons and armor. We can look at our abilities with the stats. We can open the door. We can look at our item. And we can search around the area. And since this is the Dragon Quest V engine, we don't even need to use the commands as much. And we don't have to worry about the steps. <gasps> we found a torch! Oh my god! What do we have here? We found a magic key! Yay! Do I know of Princess Gwalian? No. Yes, as 
we saw in the beginning, the princess was captured by the Dragon Lord. What a crap key it is. Yeah. So we don't even need to hit a book. We just we just can hit a button to make make them talk, which is awesome. So let's continue. And yeah, we don't even need a thing to open up the door. So yeah, if I haven't mentioned, this is Tantacle Castle. The castle of the gods. Well, not really. And yeah, we can talk to the king to save the game if we want. And yeah, people love this place, but now demons are here and no one likes it. Because no one likes them. Zizu, forget that I said it. I will not. So, new to this game. Yeah, okay. We need a cave for a torch. Blah, blah, blah. And this guy, he's like, oh, the princess. Wee, wee, wee. So, new to this game, we can actually search pots and drawers, which we couldn't do in the first game. But now we can do it. Yay, we got one metal club. And we come down here. We can talk to this man. Yes, the Dragon of Darkness. And this guy will heal up your MP. So remember him, because it would be kind of nice to know. So let's keep walking around the castle. Hello, merchant. Oh no, the Dragon Lord likes killing off your friends and family. Did I hear? No. No, there was a town destroyed by the Dragon Lord. I did hear that just from you just now. Move out of my way. So we can't open these doors because we don't have a key. And the door is locked. Why would they lock themselves in there like that? I don't know, but if we talk to this guy, he tells us to fight warriors, or fight monsters outside to gain experience. Yay! Yes, everything is a lie. The cake is a lie as well. Cake is a lie. Mmm, cake. Yeah, that's bullcrap, alright? These people don't make their keys very well. So, yeah, we have all of this. This is Tantacle. This is Dragon Quest. Welcome to Tantacle Castle. And now we walk outside, and as you can see, massive graphical improvements, of course. The castles are big, the towns are smaller, and even across the sea where the evil one lays is, uh, is a nice, interesting castle. So, welcome to Breconary. This town is the headquarters of where we're going to be. And let's show off the shop. This is our first shop. We have 120 gold, and now we can purchase various things. And the nice thing about this game is it'll actually show you how much you will go up. Isn't that nice? Attack power or defensive power. So, what I plan on doing is I'm going to buy me some leather clothes. Maybe even a sh or at least leather clothes, and then I'm going to save up for the copper sword as I get, as I'm going to pick up a club as well. Because my strategy is always get stuff that will help you kill monsters faster so that you can, um, you can get more money quicker. Because this game's all about leveling up and picking up, uh, equipment. So yeah, you gotta watch out for monsters. Oh, we didn't find anything. Thanks, buddy. Zisu, the hero, will live on forever, maybe, or whatever. Anyways, this guy lady here is the vault, where you can store your items and your gold. You can store gold within a th uh, an increments of 1,000. And that's pretty nice. Okay, so yeah, poisonous swamps. What? We found the Wing of Wyvern, and what that does is it will return us to Tantago Castle, and yeah, this is the end. In seal up your HP all the way for a price and MP, of course. Oh, I'm a handsome stud. Ooh, oh, look at that. She's joined my group, sort of. 
Yes, that castle is the Dragon Lord's castle. And they are free. And here we have an item shop. A pretty sweet shop. We got dragon scales, torches, medical herbs. I'm gonna eventually wanna buy a metal uh, dragon scale too. I'm just showing you my shopping list for later. Hello there, warrior. Yeah, there's just a lot of graphical improvements. A lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, menu improvements. Okay, so the descendant of Eric Edric shows proof. But we need some sort of proof. Is this girly really gonna follow me everywhere? Ah, oh, Garnenham. Life stinks in the medieval times, that's for sure. No, I don't know. Oh, there's a town that sells magic keys. Cool. Okay, so this Garnum is a minstrel, and he did stuff. So yeah, this Garnum guy, he did some stuff. And, uh, yeah. Good times. So, is this little girl gonna follow me? Cause that's not a good idea. All right, so let us buy a club. Yes, I'd like to equip it right now. And yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go outside naked. Let's go show you some battles. Oh, the girl pussied out and left. Anyways, let's walk on these plains here. As these are called the grasslands. Let's see if we can run into a couple monsters. Those monsters are cool, maybe. Here's our first enemy, the red slime. And now what we can do is we can attack them physically, we can use spells, we can run, and we can use items. All I got is the club. So let's bash his head in. And look at that already. Yay. I gained two and four. So yeah, these are how battles work. They're one-on-one, -on -one, so... You don't have to worry about multiple enemies gang raping you, beating you up, and taking your things. You know how it is. You, you know. So here's another new enemy, Slime. And these guys are pretty easy too. And let's see if I can at least gain one level while we're walking around. Yeah, first place we want to head is north. And over here, look, there's some sort of desert. Look, it's a cave. And another red slime. Yeah, I'm just gonna show these battles. I'm gonna beat the poop out of these guys, and Zizu is gonna take on whoever he wants. And here we have another new enemy, the Drakey. And he's probably pretty tough, so I should probably. All right, cool. I'll do. It. I'll deal with it. And look at that. We gained a level. And HP. Awesome. Now. We have items, we have a medical herb, which we can use if we want, but I'm just gonna run back down. I don't wanna be hurt, please! Actually, you know what, I got some time. This episode will be a little longer. Let us head into this cave, actually. Screw it. Uh-oh. What the hell is this place? No, no, I don't wanna search. It's all dark and crap. Now don't worry about being attacked by monsters in this cave because you can't. Which is the nice thing. So let's go and explore. Now the nice thing about this game is they made the caves a little bit larger. Which is really nice. And one of the things about torches is they'll never go out. So don't worry about losing your light in here. But yeah, this place is called Edric's Cave. We need to find, I don't know, some things. Edric maybe left us a clue or something. So if we come over here, look, let's search. Descendant, my name is Eric. Three items were necessary to cross the island of Eel, which can be seen from Tantagal Castle. And he's collected these items, and he went and he defeated the evil king himself. And then he trusted them, the three wise men, and their descendants, to protect them forever and ever and ever. And 
and when the evil demon rises again, we must collect all those things, cross the island, and go and defeat evil. So yes, we must go find the three men who have the three goods that we are looking for. So, what am I going to do in between episodes? I am going to level up and grab the leather armor, leather shield, and the copper sword. Now, the pretty nice thing about um, this game is that, like, the it's really cool how, like, when you go up and down flights of stairs and descend lower into a dungeon or, or cave, the music will get a little, little, a little different. So, this has been Kenshin1913, and I will see you in the next episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest 1.